here's someone who is developing responsibility. He's Frank Harris. Frank's paper route is a way of earning a little spending money. It's also a hard work to Frank. Especially when he sees the other fellows having fun. Want to play, Frank? Well, of course Frank wants to play. But he can't now. He has work to do. He has papers to deliver. Uh-oh. Frank will have to do his work better than that. Doing a job well is part of being responsible. There's a real dog. Just the kind Frank would like to have for his own. And there's Mr. Morgan who owns the dog. He wants to talk to Frank about something. Mr. Morgan is going to move to another town. So, Frank will have to stop delivering the paper to him. He'll be here the rest of this week, so he wants to pay Frank for the papers until Saturday. All right. You see, Frank is responsible for the money he collects. He thanks Mr. Morgan and gives him a receipt. Frank writes in his book the date to stop the paper, so he won't forget. Having a paper route is a lot more than just delivering papers. But Mr. Morgan has noticed how well Frank gets along with the dog, and who wouldn't get along with him? Frank thinks he's a first-rate dog. Mr. Morgan says, of course, he's pedigreed. Isn't that something? And his name is Pal. That's right, Pal. He's the kind of dog who really is a pal. Well, Frank has work to do. But just a minute, Mr. Morgan would like to know his name and address. Now, why do you suppose he wanted to know that? That evening at home, Frank carefully counts the money he has collected because it doesn't all belong to him. He knows how important it is to keep careful accounts. He's responsible for the newspaper company's money. And while dad for him, there's something Frank wants to show mother. He has a new customer starting tomorrow. Obtaining new customers is part of Frank's job, too. Frank thanks his father for the check. Dad will keep the money and take it to the bank tomorrow. Why, it's Pal. Mr. Morgan brought him over. Mother, Dad, here's Mr. Morgan and his wonderful dog. Mr. Morgan has been noticing Frank. He thinks Frank would like a dog, and he'd like Frank to have Pal. Mr. Morgan is moving to another town and an apartment where dogs aren't allowed. But Mother and Dad aren't sure. A dog is a lot of work and responsibility for someone. Feeding him, giving him water, seeing that he gets exercise. He'll be so much trouble. Can Frank be expected to take proper care of him? Well, Mr. Morgan thinks he can do it. And so does Frank. But Dad's being very cautious. He won't agree to let Pal stay until he's sure that Frank can manage this new responsibility. So Dad offers a plan. Let Frank keep Pal until Saturday and show how well he can take care of him. But if this week doesn't work out, then Mr. Morgan will have to make other plans for Pal. So Frank has an opportunity to show that he can be responsible. But now Mr. Morgan must go and leave Pal to his new master. Let's hope he never has to take Pal back. Dad wants to be sure Frank understands their bargain. Frank may keep Pal until Saturday, but there are many things he'll have to do if he wants to keep Pal for good. Pal will have to have food and water. He'll need exercise morning and evening. He must be trained to obey, to know that Frank is now his master. Of course, Frank can't neglect his other responsibilities, his paper route, his schoolwork, his regular jobs around home, such as cleaning up his own room and carrying out the tin cans on Mondays. Tin cans? 
Monday. Frank must start right away showing that he can be responsible. He'll have quite a lot of work to do, but pal's worth it, isn't he? So the next day is a busy day for Frank. Pal gets his exercise on the paper route, but Frank has to deliver his papers and at the same time... Uh-oh. Yes, Frank has to keep his eyes on Pal, too. But here's a good time to start training Pal. Show him who's boss. Maybe keep him on a leash. There. But delivering papers with a big dog on a leash can be pretty tiring. And by the time he reaches the end of the route, there goes the last paper, though. All through. But here's another paper. Why, where does it belong? Did Frank miss someone? Oh, that new customer. Frank forgot about that completely. And it's partly Pal's fault for making so much trouble. Well, nothing to do now but go back. Waste half an hour delivering that one paper. And what's more, Frank needs that half an hour. He didn't get time to straighten his room this morning. No, things don't look very good for Frank. He just can't keep up all his responsibilities. And so late that evening, after Frank has finally finished his work for the day, he has a good talk with his dad. Dad is happy that Frank has a chance to earn such a fine dog and pleased with Frank's work so far. But with so much to do, Frank must plan his time. Sometimes a new responsibility means you must make choices. Frank may have to leave Pal at home while he goes on the paper route and then exercise him later in the evening. He may have to use the leash with Pal and train him to obey. But just a little planning, just a determination to take care of all his responsibilities will clear up Frank's worries. He may have to work hard, but he's determined to do it so he'll be able to keep Pal. That's what Frank's going to do. And he'll start by getting a good night's sleep. And so for the next few days, Frank keeps busy with his paper route, his home and school responsibilities, and his pal. Part of it is hard work and part of it is good fun. But Frank does his best. For almost a whole week, Frank keeps up his responsibilities. He has done his jobs, all of them, and he's done them well. And so on Saturday, Frank feels pretty sure he'll be able to keep his pal. Is that Mr. Morgan now? Yes, it is. Pal has been in Frank's care now for a week. And there's one thing Mr. Morgan wants to know. May Frank keep pal? What do you think? Has Frank shown that he can be responsible? Let's think back. On his paper route, Frank has carried out his responsibility to deliver each paper where it should go, to keep his accounts accurately, and to take good care of the money he collects. He has carried out his responsibility to give Pal food and water, to see that he gets plenty of exercise, and to teach him to be obedient. And Frank has shown that he can do these things and still keep up with his schoolwork and his responsibilities around the house. All this has taken planning and determination, but Frank has managed very well. So, of course he may keep Pal. Mother and Dad have agreed. Now, here's something else for Frank. What does the paper say? Oh, it's Pal's pedigree. Do you see, Pal? The pedigree papers belong to Frank now, and so does Pal.